Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to part two of me answering of this year's uh, Q and A. Now, yeah, I knew this was gonna be a uh, in parts, so so this is part two now. So of um, the ones that are for the next for the next ones, um, I, the names I mentioned in the previous video. Thank you for those questions, and now moving on to the next set of a uh, series of questions now. So next question is only one question from this from here from uh, Katie Hopcraft. So Katie Hopcraft has only one question, saying that have you seen Muppet the uh, Muppets Treasure Island, and what are your thoughts on it? I have seen that film a long time ago because I remember it was because uh, the Muppets and starring Tim Curry. Tim Curry I thought was the way he played was he Long John Silver, and I thought Tim Curry was fun. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed a couple of the Muppets movies. I know the mother was the Muppets Christmas Carol that had Michael Caine in it, but Muppets Treasure Island with with Tim Curry, I haven't seen it a long time ago, you know, and uh, I remember liking it because I like Tim Curry. But I, I, I th my thoughts on it, I have to rewatch it again because I but I do think I remember liking it still because I I could watch it for, t for from Tim Curry having fun, so yeah. So uh, what are my thoughts on that? For I remember, for as I remember, I liked it. So Katie Hop Hopcraft, thank you for that. Uh, next is from Anish Morali, and he's saying, "Can you please uh, uh, upload?" Um, uh, well, wants me to do you want me to re uh, review Robots from two thousand five. Um, I'll I'll have to review I'll I'll review eventually. Oh, well, first of all, I'll have the DVD, so I'll, I'll have to get the DVD to review it then. But I'll I'll get to I'll get to like I said, uh, a lot of a lot of um. I have a lot of things I like to do because when I try to balance with work and what I want to choose to review, I'll eventually get to it. Okay, there's a lot. I just there's a lot I just want to review, and uh, if I come across with a time to do robots, I will. Okay, but thanks for the question anyway. <laughs> and I've and one obvious one that's been telling me for many months now, for months now, Spider-Man: The Chosen One, one Marvel. Spider-Man fan. He's been asking me the same question over and over again. Like every time I upload a video, he keeps asking the same question over and over again for months now. And the same question he says, "Are you going to review the Spider-Man trilogy from Sam Raimi?" <sighs> That's why I haven't been responsible because he keeps on asking the same thing over and over. Every time, like mostly all times, I upload a, a new video. He always puts that question in. I mean, a lot of times, do you, do you just, do, a lot of times, like, man, do you just, uh, just leave it there? Don't even care to watch my videos? Just, to, just, or just click on the video just to leave the comment there. <sighs> I will get to him eventually. I just have a, I just have a lot going on. I just do. Like I said, I try, I try to balance work wherever I want to be in the right mood to review a good movie, or, or be in a shitty mood to review a bad movie, but. I will get to it eventually, so yes, please, I will, I will review them eventually. Just not right now. I'll give it to it. I'll get to it eventually. Okay. It's not. I didn't say. I didn't. It's not like I didn't say no. I will get to them eventually. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I, I, I knew. I was. I knew he was gonna put that question on here because he's been saying it basically in every single vi every one of my videos. Are you gonna review it? Are you gonna review it? Are you gonna review it? I make. Mean... <sighs> I'm not trying to sound like it's a, it's a nuisance, but I'm like I get it. <laughs> but thanks for the question anyway, because <laughs> I although I knew you were gonna put it on here. Uh, let's see here. Let's start with uh, fishing for fishing for squid. Fishing for squid. You have eight questions this time. Um, let's see here. The first question is: What are your thoughts on walking with dinosaurs from 1999? Uh, well, I've seen the I've seen the 20 I've seen the 2013 movie Walking with Dinosaurs, but I've not yet seen the 1999 one. Is that supposed to be the supposed to be the the, the series? I know there was supposed, there was a series on that though, but I know there's a movie on Walk with Dinosaurs. I've only seen the 2013 one, so I can't say for save on that one though. So sorry about that. Next next question is: What are your thoughts on Fairy Tale? Um, my thoughts on the anime series of Fairy Tale. 
that's another that's another series that I don't I didn't, I didn't fully grab on. It's it's on, it's on the list of category of anime series I just not got got around the interest of watching like. Dragon Ball Z, I know Dragon Ball Z has been popular for decades, though, but Dragon Ball Z was never hardly ever my, my cup of tea of anime to watch, let alone with other popular, along with other popular series, like Bleach, or, um, like Black Clover, or, or this series, Fairy Tale. There's a certain lot of series of animes that I just, I just don't fully grab on right now. You know, I just don't have the interest of watching. But I know fairy tales are popular. Thing. I've seen bits of it because I remember what I remember. Did my dad who was watching a, like a little bit of it on Netflix. So I got like I only got like a couple of uh, clips of it. So I can't really get my full thoughts on on fairy tale. But I just say is I just um. This fairy tale was and didn't fully grab me though. That's all put that way. Number three is your favorite Sonic game. Easy. The first two Sonic the Hedgehog games from from Sega Genesis. Love those games to death. I've beaten the games about both games about a million times already. Oh, I can't say a million times. Okay, uh, like a hundred times. I love Sonic one and two. I I like Sonic three. But I haven't played that game hardly enough as more than Sonic 1 and 2. So those, are, so Sonic 1 and 2 from Sega Genesis, those are my favorite Sonic games. Number 4, what are your hopes and concerns about Jurassic World Dominion? Well, the first Jurassic, the first Jurassic World I, ran, I, I did a rant on though. But Jurassic World uh, Fallen Kingdom I enjoyed. I thought it was an improvement over the first one because I like the darker tone and it made it a little more of a horror as a horror film and it had more practical effects of the dinosaurs which I appreciate and um, better score I would say and the and better directing and Chris Pratt and that, that he did a bit more better same with Bryce Dallas Howard uh, it was nice to see like Ted, characters like James Cromwell, Ted Levine, Toby Jones even Jeff Goldblum's cameo, but um, my hope, um, my hopes. Well, first of all, let me give the positive things I want to think about about Jurassic World Dominion. Um, first of all, like Sam Neill, Jeff Goldblum, and Laura Dern are coming back. Same with uh, B. D. Wong as Henry Wu. He's coming back again. Uh, like the original, the original cast from the first movie, and uh, hopefully, I like to see like Chris Pratt, and Bryce Dallas Howard, like interact with uh. Dr. Alan Grant and Ellie Seiler and uh, Dr. Malcolm. Hopefully, we'll get we'll get that. And they said they're gonna use they're, they said they're gonna use more practical effects, which I hopefully they're not lying on. Because first of all, it's the same uh, same director who directed the first Jurassic World film. He's coming back to direct the third one. So that's because that's a, that's that's a concern of mine. And um, he says if they use more practical effects. Hopefully, that's true. But Jurassic World Dominion, I'm I'm mixed on though. But I, I'm looking forward to seeing it because because Jurassic World Fall Kingdom I thought was an improvement I enjoyed. So hopefully, hopefully maybe this director will learn better from the previous film of the first Jurassic World and he'll do better on this one. So we'll see on that. So yeah, question number five: um, What anime Funko Pops do you want to see made? Okay, what pops do I want to see made? Um, let's see. Well, first of all, I'd like to see more, uh, more Inuyasha Pops. i like to see, like, like, um, Moroku, Sango, Naraku be made into Pops. Or Kag Kagra, Shippo, um, Kikyo. I'd like to see those, those Pops from that series, the that series to get made. And then probably even, uh, Yashi, even, even Yashihime Pops to get made, like Toa, Moroha, Setsuna. Like Kitty Kitty Maru, I like to see those be made into pops. Um, from from um, maybe I would get probably go from like uh, from Food Wars to like for like 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 yeah, food like, for characters from Food Wars or High School DD, like Rius Grimmery or Issei. Those, those, those are kind of like to see more. 
be made into pops. Like, I would just like to see, see more from animes made into pops, like Devil's a Part-Timer. So, I would like to see those be made into pops. Um... Or even so, some more of the Yu-Gi-Oh characters. Like, um, they got they got Kaiba, Yugi, and Joey, and Pegasus. I like to see Taya, Tristan, to be made to be made into pops. So yeah, those those are what I like to see made into pops. Um, number six, do you think they should make more dinosaur or prehistoric themed animes? I like to say so. I like to say I just like to see more see more uh an I like to see animes be uh, use um dinosaur prehistoric themed animes. I like to see that. I like to see they should they should make some more. I don't think what was a what was a close way to say that was used that used that way for an anime series. Can't think of it right now, but I like to see that. See more of those be made to animes, okay. What are your thoughts on Trailer Park Boys? I have not yet seen I have not seen the T V show, so can't really say on that. And that's a good one. Who is your top three favorite anime girls? Oh, there's some good ones too. Well, let's see here. Well, I can, I can uh, as of right now, I can think of, um, I can think of uh, six. Well, this is not my top three, so I'll just put six on here. So, um, but I would definitely say, um, Okay, my top three for sure. Well, top two. Top two. No, no. I'll say top three right now. So top three. I'll definitely say one. I is Kagome Higurashi. I love Kagome. You know, she's very you know strong, spirited. You know, always feeling doing the right thing. Always feeling like helping others. I enjoy Kagome a lot from Inuyasha. So that's that's one I enjoy. The other one, which I put the poster right hung the poster right there Revy yeah right there Revy from Black Lagoon she's a she's a total badass from Black Lagoon definitely a total badass so yeah Revy from Bla Revy from Black Lagoon um top three um the net for the next one um Songo also from Inuyasha Songo Another another uh, girl that's a badass with her Hirai goats, and also the funny thing is of the group, she's like the only normal one who's a who just has no like no powers or anything. Just a normal girl with who throws her Hirai goats, basically the giant boomerang. Because you get because you get Kagome with her spirit power, Maroko with his wind tunnel, Shippo who's a fox demon, and Inuyasha who's a half demon. But of the group, she's like the only normal girl with like no powers, just the, using her. Demon Slayer equipment and her Hirite goats. So yeah, so, uh, so I definitely say Songo is definitely a badass of her own. Other ones I should mention. Um, other, other anime girls I'll also mention. Um, Rias Gremory from high Rias Gremory from High School DD. I enjoy her, her character. Um, Serena from Sailor Moon. I always enjoyed her growing up, so I definitely put her. And Sarah's Victoria from Hel from Helsing Ultimate. You know when she became a vampire, serving with it with Alucard, working with Alucard until the point where when the place got um, when their place got invaded, until the point where she finally embraced her vampirism. It took a uh, bit into Pip's neck and drank his blood, and then just just. Just beat the the hell out of um, Zorn Blitz. She Sarah Victoria became a badass vampire. So yeah, there's six right there are my favorite anime girls. So yeah, that, that's all. So fishing for squid. Hoping I can answer your questions. Thanks for those. And let's see here next. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna be a lot of questions. This is gonna take me. This is gonna take me a while. Uh, let's see here. The Mask Singer Bro 3.5. The first one on our list here. So, The Mask Singer Bro 3.5. He has four questions. 
Thoughts on South Park getting, getting six more seasons and 14 movies. Jeez. For all as I know, South Park is never going to end. Same with The Simpsons. They've been, the Simpsons has been going, well, Simpsons has been longer though, but they've been going for over 20 years. Now, same thing with South Park, they've been going for over 20 years as well. To me, it's never going to end. As far as I know, they're probably going to get more seasons and more, they only had one movie, in, in over, and that was from like the late 90s. 14 movies? Uh -uh. <laughs> has, has it been one since the first movie? Jeez. 14 movies, that's out of, out of, they're out of their minds. If I know this show could probably go on forever. Just like The Simpsons. Thoughts on Chronicle 2? I like the first. I like I like Chronicle. But thoughts on Chronicle 2, I'm not entirely sure on. Number 3, what if they made Gremlins 3 a Logan style movie? So if they made Gremlins 3 in the style of the movie of Logan. Well, first of all, do we need another third one? I mean, the, I, I like the first two, but do we need a third one? Probably not, but if they did, like, in the style of Logan, I don't know. Probably make it, probably make it an R-rated, bloody comedy, probably. But I don't think you don't, I don't think you don't need a, a third Gremlins movie in the first place. And number four, can you review the Cars franchise? Not anytime soon. Not anytime soon, because I like the first Cars film, but in the second film, as a lot of people don't like, which I agree with, in the third film, yeah, I'm just going to review those in another time. Not, not right now, but I'll eventually get to the Cars series. Uh. So, so uh, the Masked Singer Bro 3.5, thanks for those. And excuse me, I'm going to be right back, I'm going to... Re I'm gonna refill my cup here, alright? I'll be right back. <sighs> so I'm back now. I just had to refill my cup now. <sighs> and uh, alright, now we're back. So, uh, that was the same. The Mask Bro, uh, Mask Singer Bro 3.5, thanks for those. Uh, Hannah Collins has two questions. Will you do the it movie it movie reviews in October? Maybe I'll get I'll I'll think of that but I'll think about them. I'll 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 maybe give them a, I'll I'll think about that okay. On the reviewing the it movies. And number two, do you plan to see Ghostbusters Afterlife? No. After 2016, Ghostbusters failed and flopped. I don't want it interesting. I know this one's probably continuing after the after Ghostbusters too because the. The whole thing with um, Spangler, you know, Harold Ramis's character with his family. I know it's trying to be nostalgic to the first, to the to more of the first two movies. I get it though, but you know, more reboots and sequels, the long way sequels. I just, um, although I like Bad Boys for Life though, but not just seeing Ghostbusters Afterlife. Maybe I don't know. It's just getting tired of all these movies being just all these, like I said, these franchises being milked to death. You know. But yeah, I'll, do I plan on seeing it? No. But Hannah Collins, thank you, thank you for the questions anyway. Uh, next of, uh, let's see here, re ninety eight, or R E ninety eight. So I'll say re ninety eight. Has three questions. Um, favorite slash least favorite movie of all time. Well, favorite movie of all time, easily I mentioned before, is Jurassic Park, and I will include the sequel, the sequels as well. Well, the first two, The Lost World and Number Three, but those Lost World and, and, and Number Three are separate though. But my all-time favorite is Jurassic Park. Now, my least favorite movie—that's hard to say because there's a lot of films that I hated a lot, so that's that one's hard to say. I had to make a list of my least favorite movies of all time, but. All-time favorite movie is Jurassic Park. Um, number two, favorite anime. Well, favorite anime for number one is one is Inuyasha, Sailor Moon, and Pokemon. Because Sailor, Sailor Moon and Pokemon, I grew up. Uh, I I grew up uh, the most when I, when I was a kid. We're actually those at the same time. 
and um, then Inuyasha, I didn't get to, I didn't get into till later, like in the later years. So, but I, but it's easily, but when I watched Inuyasha, it felt like I was watching it since I was a kid, basically. I just had that, I got that feeling, I felt like I was watching it back when I was a kid. But yeah, it's like Sail Moon, Inuyasha, and Pokemon. And, um, and that's, and that's on, on that, so. So let's also put it as, as favorite anime. And the third question is, which do you prefer, punching or kicking? Well... They well, like, well, well, do I get into a get into a fight? Do I guess I punch? I guess I, I guess I prefer punch. I guess because you know, the other term, you know, don't kick people while they're down. So I guess I prefer punching. I guess though, but I don't want to try to fight anyway. But but if push comes to shove, I guess punching. I guess. But I don't want that's. Like I said I don't want to try to get into any any other people any any other fights anyway. So. But thanks for that question anyway, uh, re ninety eight. Uh see so we can get we got then we got June Bug June Bug Films. Has five questions. June Bug Films. Number one is what do you think what do you think we've ever gotten a good version of Dracula vs. Frankenstein? Hardly to see any 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 version any any movies that's about Dracula versus Va versus Frankenstein. Hardly. So I can't give an answer on that one because, well, I could probably I can't say Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein because it had all three of them, but Dracula wasn't fighting Frankenstein. He was using it for experience to, as experience, and um, it was mostly at the end. It was Dracula was trying to fend off the Wolfman, but until the Wolfman grabbed him when he was a bat and went and plundered into the sea. So I don't think I've ever seen a, ever think we ever get a good version of Dracula versus Frankenstein. Uh, no, let's see. Number two, do you, do you think the interest rate interest rate needs dreamers and innovators in Hollywood to make Hollywood better? Well, first of all, uh, I would say is to see what what makes Hollywood better. Is that Hollywood needs to get their heads out of their asses and stop influencing films by putting in their agendas and like all this woke stuff and politicalness in movies. That's one thing that they need to see, they need to get their heads out of their asses out of for you know, you know. It was one thing that's one thing to make Hollywood better. Leave your politically the political or agendas or wokeness. Or wherever it is on the, on the transgender, whatever gays, whatever. I just think just leave those leave those out, and the films will be Hollywood will be better. Or yeah, that's the best way. That's the way to tell. It. Just leave those stuff out the door and just save that for, for your own personal opinions. That's one thing I say to make Hollywood better is to get those things out of there. So as I'll tell you, that's what. Um, we had dreamers and innovators. I just think you need. I think those think those are innovators. Though they we call innovators, I guess. But that's why I think to make Hollywood better. Because Hollywood nowadays is all gone down the shit. Number three. What do you think? Why do you think movies suck nowadays? Same thing. Well, that's, well, that's part of the same way. Because like nine, like ninety percent of the movies suck nowadays. Because it looks like they're either. Bland, boring, or generic, or generic because of their because they're either reboots, remakes, sequels that feels like a remake, or adaptations that we don't need, or don't want, or sequels they don't want, either with um, poor script or it's like it's badly paced, or just don't get good actors. But also they also have to throw in, but also they they throw in. Like the, they also throw in the political agendas in there, like you know, with the woke stuff and the gayness or the political stuff in there. That's why a lot of the films nowadays suck nowadays. Yeah, I, there's the, it's, you get, I get a handful of movies that I did like, like I said, Willy's Wonderland, Nobody, and The Suicide Squad. But still, but still, ninety percent of those movies no, nowadays suck. 
So, excuse me. Number four, do you think classic rock is dead? It'll never, it'll never, it'll never be dead to me because I listen to a lot of classic rock on my on my phone. So, to me, classic rock will never will never be dead. And number five, how would you make Hollywood great again? Well, that's that's the other day. Well, I kind of kind of answered. I kind of answered that question for your um, number two for your number two question there. I would say if I would make Hollywood uh, great again, make movies that don't, don't that just don't basically don't throw any politicalness in there or there are agendas in there. That's one way to make Hollywood great again. Don't put those in your movies, and just try to create create new original ideas instead of making remakes and reboots because that's how they're always running out of fumes and on steam, you know, because always just for the sake of money. That's one thing I would try to make Hollywood great again. But the Junebug Films, thank you, thank you for your questions. And this is good. This is This is a big one right here. This is gonna be a big one. But uh, let's do it. So uh, Grand Theft Ruben <laughs> could make make these make these things a little bit shorter. <laughs> Have you heard of Tele Tele Francis? It's a it's a Canadian French language children's TV series produced from eighty four until eighty six. First of all, I'll show it. I'll keep it as simple as that. I have not heard of this TV show. If it's this Canadian French Canadian yeah Canadian French language uh, TV series, I have not heard of it. So I can't go any further than that. More on your question. Number two, which of these films made by Golden Harvest? Which which ever watched films made by Golden Harvest or and the Shaw Brothers Studios, Martial Arts and Waxia? No, I no, I have not. I have not seen any films made by this studio. Um, number three, ever collect Pokemon cards? Yes, I do. I still got I got I got a small binder of some of the Hollow cards I have, so I do do collect Pokemon cards because I want to try to get like uh, Hollow cards of the original series. So. Yeah, I do collect Pokemon cards. Number four. Ever heard of Yoko uh, Yoko Sano? Yoko Sano is a comics album series by a Belgian writer. No, I have not. I, I'm sorry, you had to type all this, all this, all this in paragraphs here. But if I've not heard of this, if I've never heard of this, of this, of this title of this comic book, then I have not saw. So. Sorry if you had to type all the all this in a paragraph, basically in a paragraph here. But I've not, if I've not heard of it, I cannot know about the rest of it. Although you 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 are telling what the story is about, though, what genre and what the story is. So, but Night and Grave the same for the same that detail. But I've not heard of this comic series. Um, number five. Have you have you heard of Bessie and Ad Adrian? They are the du they are a Dutch circus trio that played with Brothers Bass at Adventur. They're successful in their own TV series. No, I have not. And then your last question is: Do you know that uh, Akira Akira Toriyama is a is a cinephile admirer for the Chinese culture inspiration? The inspiration of Dragon Ball came from the classic Chinese story called Journey to the West. Um, well, I heard of the Journey to the West. I heard it in, in, in actually in an episode of Inuyasha, the Journey to the West. I've actually heard that in an episode of that, the title of that, the story, the Journey to the West, which which Kagome explained to to the to our group because they have not heard of the story. Kagome was like, uh, Journey to the West is a famous Chinese epic tale. So I I heard I I heard about it just through that episode of, uh, that episode of um of Yashi um uh, for Yashi me of Even Yasha. So yeah, I explain all that though, and um, the end the end with uh, overall that's my Q and A for you, my friends. I hope you're I hope you're doing safe. I hope you're doing safe and well. And we'll see what happened. Take care and much love and hugs.
and yeah, give him two thumbs up. Um, Grand Theft Ruben, thank you. Yeah, I, pre I definitely I do appreciate uh, the last um, the appreciations of the com of the comments you gave, and I do appreciate of the effort like um, to keep for me to keep up the good work. So thank you for that. <laughs> Sorry, I had to type all those in paragraphs. I just want to get. If I've not heard of those things, I've, I just want to keep on going to explain what the whole thing is about. If I've not heard of it, but Grand Theft Ruin, thank you for those questions. Uh, and... Well, as we're getting out now, let's um. Oh, now we're getting to like the, now it's some of the some of the ones that I do know of that watch my channel, so. Let's start with um, let's start with uh, DJ Colony. DJ DJ Colony, uh, um, hello. Nice to hear. Nice to hear from you again. Um, DJ Colony asks us four questions, and he's saying, "Do you like Woody Woodpecker?" Well, I was well. I did not grow up watching Woody Pecker, but I do know the the famous laugh he does. He goes, <laughs> But I did not grow up watching Woody Woodpecker. I've heard the character, but I, I know what he does, the way he laughs. But I... He's not a bad character, though, but I just did not, not watch a whole lot of him. Just like teensy bits of clips here and there. Number two, ever thought of doing a live, a live stream hangout with another movie channel, a movie review channel? Well... Thing is, though, I do not know how to do a live stream because I don't have the equipment to do or whatever it is to do a live stream. But um, I always like to do a collaboration, though. But I also I just know how to do, uh, do set up the whole thing where you talk to one person on, on the screen to the other. So, and I don't know how to, how to set up a live stream anyway because I never done done live stream. I just don't care to do live stream. I just want to say, I don't want to do anything just to get famous or anything. I just, I just like doing what I do, talking in front of a camera here. So yeah, the live stream is not my kind of thing though. But I always like to try to do a, like a, a collaboration with another channel. It's always up there for me. And uh, question number three: What uh, what would you say? Would you rewatch more movies from the '80s or the '90s? Oh boy. That I can't pick because I mean I loved I like to rewatch I re I rewatch movies from the nineties, both eighties and nineties because eighties, John Carpenter's the thing, Chuck Ross is the Blob, Big Trouble Little China, a lot of movies from the eighties I, I always rewatch all the time, and especially the nineties. But I, I just can't really pick as well. Okay, if I technically had to pick, I guess even though even though John Carpenter's thing is my all time favorite movie horror film, that was from the eighties. There's a lot of things I liked in the '90s, so if I wanted to pick, I would rather really rewatch that from the '90s. Yes, because I love because there's a lot of things I, I in the '90s that I loved growing up with, but it doesn't mean I like rewatching movies from the '80s as well. Because I love John Carpenter's The Thing, most of movies from the '80s, and among other movies I've enjoyed from the '80s. And your fourth question is now: Is what are some things? What are some things in movies that scared you as a kid, but don't scare you now? Well, as I mentioned before in uh, part one, that one scene in the, in the beginning, the start of it, the one, the one scene with it, Tim Curry's the miniseries, Tim Curry's it, when he was in the sewer with Georgie, and when he went reached for his paper boat, then Tim Curry showed the 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 eyes and the and the teeth. That's that scene scared me when I was a kid. Nowadays it doesn't though, but. That I remember that thing that scene there traumatized me for a a, a lot a while back then. And um, what's some things and um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that scared me back when I was a kid. It doesn't scare me now, but I can still see why it was scared me as a kid, and I can still see why the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre is still one of the considered one of the most terrifying, scariest movies ever. It still is. It still has that potential to still be the very uh, a scary movie still. And the other one, John Carpenter's Halloween. One of the things that scared me and John Carpenter's Halloween when I was a little kid, when I used to live in my, uh, I used to live in another house that's uh, not too far from my house, the one I'm living in, but I had another. I used to live in another house. Um, John Carpenter's uh, Halloween things that uh, scared me was one thing was John Carpenter's music, the brilliant music that he so well composed of, 
And then, of course, Michael Myers himself scared me. So. That was, like, one of the few things that, that did scare me when I was a kid. But it doesn't scare me now, though. So, DJ Colony. Uh, D DJ Don... Uh, I, say, I say Colony. It's, it's, Don it's Donnelly. I apologize. DJ Donnelly. Thank you for those questions of those. So, it's, uh, it's, it's nice hearing from you. It's Donnelly. I'm sorry if I call it Colony, because it's almost on the same. DJ Don Donnelly. So uh, thank you for thank you for your questions. And uh, I think that'll do it for this part here. Cause now I knew this was probably going to parts here. I didn't know it was going to go into three now. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing this in a third part now. So for the ones I call out, I mentioned in this video. Thank you for your questions. I do appreciate I do appreciate them. So now hopefully I'll end this in a third. This will end in the third part. So pardon me. Uh, but thanks for wa thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the part three. Hopefully that'll be the last. And uh, so if I heard your names in this video, thank you for those comments. I do appreciate them. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for for next for part three.